Good evening. Oh, what's going on there, guys? It is the uh, Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this beautiful, rainy Monday evening, December 6, 2021. Raining here in California, anyway. Uh, 8.20 p.m. California time. The latest quake on the globe is a 3.7 earthquake striking out there around earthquake country in Texas, Pecos, Texas region. Uh, getting in on a little bit of renewed earthquake activity uh, within the last 24 hours. And of course, uh, today, right now, 3.7 earthquake there on the map. Looking at the latest information here from the USGS folks. Uh, show some activity. Well, let's get up over here to the trimmer map real quick. Kind of want to show you guys the lack of trimmer once again today. Um, looking pretty darn quiet, although... Look at the date on this. How did that get zipped up to the 14th? Not for sure what's going on there. That's kind of odd. Trimmer map. There we go. Not for sure what happened. Kind of went into the future for a minute. Anyway, today's date, 12-6. Zero epicenters once again. Well, I think I know what I did. I clicked on one of these earlier. I was looking at the uh, data range here with the lack of trimmer activity in the Cascadia and comparing... Uh, different uh, different dates in time where we've seen similar uh, sh pretty much short-term lack of trimmer activity in the past here of course there's not a significant amount of trimmer monitoring uh, this only goes back to about 2010 but you can see on the map here we did have uh, quite a few ups and downs and periods of quiet activity where there's no trimmers at all uh, but if you do look at the last year and this year, you can see pretty much a significant increase in trimmer activity, uh, followed up by less, um, I should say, shorter periods of quietness. But uh, this this one that we're on right now, what are we at? About two weeks or so of pretty much hardly any trimmer, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's happened in the past, that's for sure. I can see certain dates here where we've seen probably three or more weeks of no trimmer. But... Uh, as far as the increase in activity and trimmer, uh, it's definitely been uh, on the increase, obviously, uh, this past year and the year before. Uh, earthquake activity in the United States. Let's go ahead and check them out real quick first here. You can see that 3.7. Of course, USGS listing this in New Mexico. Texas area, Pecos, Texas. New Mexico state line right there. Come on, guys. It's, in, it's obviously in Texas. Pecos, Texas sits, sits down here to the southeast a little bit. Uh, looks like activity just kind of ramping up here. It's been uh, been fairly quiet, not as active as we have seen it in the recent past, but uh, looks like some other smaller after, uh, smaller earthquakes prior to this 3.7 that struck uh, just a few, uh, about an hour or so ago. This activity occurring earlier in the day today. Uh, so definitely some activity ramping up there in Texas region. Uh, Oklahoma, areas of New Madrid system and East Coast, the Appalachian Mountains there. Appalachian Mountains, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement throughout that region. Uh, we did see some activity ramp up here in the Gulf of California, but a little bit further south today, not uh, up north like we had seen there with that earthquake swarm kicking up there. Uh, only a 4.0, but much further south. Uh, into the Southern California region. Some activity kicking up here on the all magnitudes. Let's go ahead and bring the 2.5 and above. And you can see only one earthquake around the Ridgecrest area showing up in the uh, 2.5 category. Other than that, most of it's all microquake activity kicking up. And it's uh, just not a whole lot. I mean, we've seen some pick up around the San Jacinto Fault area and areas west on the Pacific side of the uh, plate boundary here. But overall, things just kind of mellow at the moment. Things just kind of at a standstill with some microquakes scattered out and about the Southland there. Some further movement up north into Washington. I'm really surprised here about this because um, most of the time when we see all this deeper earthquake activity ramping up here inland and, uh, into the Cascadia subduction zone, this is a pretty deep earthquake here, 1.7, 33 kilometers into obviously the Cascadia subduction zone and the slow slip trimmer area. Um, and all the other activity up here to the north I would expect to see trimmer activity ramping up on the trimmer map, but it just doesn't show it. So either they're not reporting it, uh, there's a glitch in the system, or who knows what. But it's just I find it kind of odd where we're seeing deep earthquakes, uh, but no trimmer activity in the Cascadia subduction zone. Just kind of a little on the odd side. 
uh, up north here around the uh, Canada Washington uh, border up here this here very shallow earthquake activity into the mountain ranges pretty much right at the uh, uh, trying to think where this exactly is at here yeah I'm not for sure about the fault systems in this region obviously there is some uh, not showing up here on the map but uh, had had a little swarm of earthquake activity a couple twos kicking off here today uh, and over the last 24 36 hours in that region of Washington uh, we did have some movement throughout the Montana area not a whole lot going on there just a couple small uh, earthquake act earthquakes up there let's see if I can find the uh, uh, Canadian map here real quick see if they've updated anything still just showing the activity here in the uh, British Columbia region had that 4.0 earlier no new activity it looks like uh, maybe it looks like it be around the Washington region uh, they had that little uh, earthquake there that was yeah it looks like that was way earlier today but uh, overall uh, pretty quiet along the Cascadia subduction zone up north here at the northern end as well as the southern end um, let's see what do we got here Yellowstone let me check this out real quick on the Yellowstone thumbnails not a whole lot going on there folks pretty quiet um, looks like they did finally fix some of the interference that was occurring over here around Soda Butte Mirror Lake Plateau uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity there is one little small microquake it looks like around Parker Peak that earthquake right there is very localized earthquake there at the uh, northeastern part of Yellowstone uh, potentially there and there as well you can see that activity show up on a couple other uh, seismograph stations pelican cove picked it up and it looks like mirror lake plateau uh, plateau plateau picked it up in lake butte as well but uh, this earthquake centered eastern side of yellowstone national park and uh, let's see if the usgs has picked that up or not um, 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 1.7 that could be it 1.7 at 1443 utc time we go back over here check it out on the map 1443 1443 so that's a 1.7 that showed up on the eastern side of the uh, Yellowstone National Park area and a little one around Lake Yellowstone but other than that not a whole lot of movement there no swarming to report in the super volcano location uh, Utah some movement up against the crest of this mountains around Cedar Utah once again normally it's an impending sign of some west coast pressure increase we always see swarming activity kick up here and it has been that way for the past couple months uh, Nevada Pecos Texas areas inland through Utah and up through the Intermountain West regions all normally show uh, some type of swarming activity when it comes to uh, the dynamics of the plate tectonics here along the West Coast the North American Pacific plate interaction with the Juan de Fuca plate uh, looks like that may be returning here as we're looking at that swarming activity pick up in Utah and also down there in Texas uh, the earthquake activity in uh, Alaska looks pretty typical and average for uh, uh, this major plate boundary and subduction zone here some earthquake activity along that subduction zone into into the Aleutian Trench a couple fours kicking off there uh, the rest of the trench looks fairly quiet Japan area Kuril Kamchaka Trench pretty quiet as well some of this earthquake activity much older uh, looks like that should be dropping off the globe here pretty or the, uh, the map pretty soon uh, a little bit of deeper movement down south towards the East China Sea looks like we had a 104 kilometer deep 4.7 and also uh, well this one's pretty shallow there 10 kilometers for a 5.0 but uh, there was a couple definitely some deep earthquake movement here in this area west of the Pacific Ring of Fire Papua New Guinea Indonesia area look at that folks pretty quiet things dying back down kind of getting that teeter-totter back effect there to the West Coast North American plate uh, at least when it comes to this activity here along the section of the Pacific Plate um, did have some movement down along the Tonga region this here is older uh, earthquake activity it looks like except for this one 152 kilometers that one kicked up just a couple hours ago a few hours ago I should say uh, 152 kilometer deep 4.6 in that region of the world South America pretty quiet looks like uh, 5.1 there in Peru that was late last night early this morning we did see some earthquake activity ramp up in the southwest Indian Ridge and over here to the east uh, Indian Ocean south of South Africa here had a 5.3 earthquake this area seen uh, 
Uh, I think it was just a six pointer or six point two a year or so ago. I think it was maybe uh I think it was about a year ago uh in this region felt up in the uh Cape Town area. I believe that was where the uh six pointer struck. So this looks like it potentially could be an aftershock sequence there. Five point three earthquake in that region, south of South Africa once again. Uh the Indian Ocean uh, mid mid Indian Ridge, I should say, five point five struck here just a couple hours ago looks like about two hours ago in that region areas to the north mediterranean sea the atlantic ocean north and south pretty quiet except for these older earthquakes struck late last night there in the south sandwich islands we have not seen any renewed movement since then uh, a little earthquake out here in the east pacific rise 4.8 uh, look at that date there i keep i tell you what guys 13 I don't know what it is. I've been seeing these numbers for a very long time. The 333 sequence uh, has been a very significant number with me and um, just it's it's pretty odd. Maybe one of these nights I'll go more into detail on what I mean by significant uh, in that term of numbers but uh, I'm always seeing that 333. Um, my computer has been shutting down at 3.33 a.m. in the morning on numerous locations just resetting by itself um yeah pretty crazy but we'll go into that in a little bit more detail there's definitely magic in numbers and there's a significant um there's definitely some significance there in numbers for sure <coughs> that i believe 100 percent uh what else we got here trimmer map pretty quiet folks the uh let's see we can check out the solar weather see what's going on here in the uh solarham.com this site is looks like it's back up it was down last night looks like there was a couple sea flares detected here a couple days ago looking at the sun it looks pretty boring and dull folks for when it comes to sunspot activity just a little little speck i don't know if you guys can even see that from 2904 uh 2904 sunspot there just uh pretty minimal i mean it's not even not even that big of a deal looks like a five percent chance of a sea flare that's pretty uh that's pretty boring <laughs> at least in my book I'm, I'm kind of a big solar weather fan i love it when it gets active um and it uh it it does a lot of things here on earth good and bad so depends on how you use that energy from the sun uh coronal holes looking pretty absent as well as far as the earth side a little bit up north and a little small one here facing earth side but overall my man it's just going to be awfully quiet when it comes to solar weather conditions here over the next couple days uh let's see what else we got here folks uh i think that's about it uh make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, and if you're watching this video make sure you click the notification bell so you can get updated whenever we go live uh, which is 24 7. we run a live stream 24 7 when it comes to earthquake activity and data uh, also a solar wind speed which is of course useless at the moment because it uh, there's not a whole lot going on they're pretty quiet and a bz tilt meter chart uh, when it comes to monitoring uh, the solar activity that kicks in when it does kick in uh what else we got folks i think that's about it i'm just going to enjoy the evening here with uh, missy mimi's and the kids and listen to the rain Got some rain coming in tonight and a whole bunch of rain coming up here in a few days. So we need it. Looks like the uh, central part of the country and eastward going to be cooking for this time of year. While the west coast remains very active, rain and snow headed our way. I would say after two years of extreme drought, we are justified in uh, receiving a decent winter this year. So I'm very thankful. Uh, for the rain that we're receiving and uh, it's it's my type of weather i love this weather so i'm gonna kick back and enjoy that rainfall on the roof in the meantime have a great night folks thanks for checking in and we will chat you guys a little bit later stay safe everyone peace out